pass away, rest in peace to him. But then, like, the, there's, and there's, like, I, I can't name, like, I don't know, I guess I, like, to name, like, too many, but, like, they're, they're kind of, like, you know, similar artists. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know, I can't really name anyone off the top, but, like, I, I guess it's a, a lot of hip-hop. Yeah, and, um... Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of crazy now the access that we have in terms of music. I mean, you could be able to turn on Spotify and to be able to listen to music all the way back from like the 50s and 40s all the way out the present and, you know, kind yeah. of dip, you know, kind of tip your toes in that. I mean, back, you know, it used to be the generational thing where you just, you know, you listen to a certain, you know, a certain, uh, you know, genre, a certain, a certain um, era of music, and then now you can just listen to everything. So, People are getting influences from everywhere, so I don't, I don't blame you for not having a an idea. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, I guess I mean I, I listen to a lot of people uh, right now. I guess my like the artists. Well, I mean, I listen to like also R and B. Like I listen to Mac Miller, Anderson Pop, but um, I mean, I'm kind of always changing. But it's always pretty much in the hip hop genre. Um, you know, do you, do you, do you think um, you know, you know. We've got the actor acting career going right now too, but um, you know, later on, do you think that you want to go out and and do um, you know you know basically a solo project and go out and, you know and perform and tour a little bit? I, I don't know if you've you've actually performed solo on stage, but you know, is that something in the back of your mind? Oh well, yeah, I have. I, um, yeah, I've, I've done. So like, I have performed solo on stage and stuff, and it's really fun. I actually when I was after this uh, after this uh this pandemic goes over things get to relatively normalcy where you know people can gather to be able to be go be able to go a concert again i feel you know i feel kind of bad that you know that that ends up happening i mean garth brooks is supposed to be playing allegiant stadium in august and i still don't know if there he's going to be able to do it um so yeah. you know i you know i kind of feel i kind of feel kind of bad um that you know you know artists aren't going to be able to, 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 you know, basically have these large audiences at, at points to, to be able to do it. So hopefully things kind of, you know, look towards the better and we'll be able to uh, see musicians like yourself on stage uh, with a, with a, with a good, good, good crowd, because I think we all need that right now. So uh, fingers yeah. crossed on that. Um, so yeah, I, you know, so like I said, Mighty Oak is right right now on uh you know, going to be opening up the theaters as well. What was your reaction when you when you first saw the movie in its entirety? Well, uh, I actually haven't seen the whole movie all the way through as a whole, but I've seen like the I've seen like the rough cuts all the way through as a whole. But I saw it so many times uh, that I don't know how I never saw it the final cut. But I mean, I I, I, um, I mean I've seen like half of the final cut just from us going like walking around the house. <laughs> Um, or like, I mean, it, not like the full thing, but like before, and um, it's pretty. I'm pretty excited. It's, it's, it's really, it's a really awesome, it's a really awesome movie. So. Yeah, another thing that's gonna kind of suck is the fact that there's no no like premiere or red carpet probably going for on for this because of social distancing. But you know, yeah. um, I think that um, you know, obviously, you know, you'll be able to do that once um, you'll be able to see it at least um, once uh, once you know things go on i mean like i said the, the movie theaters I mean, the drive-in movie theaters right now are starting to get going right now a couple theaters are starting to open up with social distancing but um my assumption is, is that at some point we're going to get um this on demand um relatively quick i think people are starting to run out of things to watch um not nothing against the movie i'm just thinking um but um i'm i'm um, yeah so i'm excited to kind of see what kind of goes on with this movie as well um you know 
you know, you mentioned that, you know, you have music out right now as well. Um, tell me, um, social media wise, where are you on, out on social media and where can people check out, uh, check out your music? Yes, make sure every single person listening to this, if you have Instagram, make sure to type in Tommy Reagan and R-A-G-E-N and it would be greatly appreciated if you could follow me because that's where I will be updating everything. Um, I'll be updating stuff on the movie. I'll be posting snippets of me playing. I'll be updating everyone on like my music and if, so I would like appreciate everyone if you could follow me. Sorry, I didn't mean, I just like, you know, I, I okay, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> But like that would just be like greatly appreciated. But that's just like a self plug, like uh, a shameless plug. So. Uh, so yeah, you know, I asked for it. You know, I asked for your social media too. So um, yeah, you guys can check them out. I check you out on Instagram as well, and I'm pretty sure um, any any relative of links is probably going to be up on Instagram, so you can listen and 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 see what's going on with the movie as well. Um, you know, um, you know, I'm looking forward to like I said seeing the movie and. Hopefully, um, hopefully we'll get some more uh, acting gigs for you coming up uh, in the in the next uh, next year. And um, like I said, hopefully, uh, hopefully things calm down that you can start performing live again. So, um, and hopefully get, we get we get new music from you eventually too. So hopefully all that kind of takes care of yourself. But um, anything else you want to add? Um, uh, thank you to everyone who supported me. Uh, thank you to my sister for always supporting me and like being such an inspiration and being so nice and kind always thank you to my parents for like always just being so supportive as well and like believing in me and helping me and and doing things for me to um help me improve and and wanting a good future for me um thank you to all my grandparents my grandma linda my grandpa steve my grandpa valor my grandma joe my grandpa frank my gra- my grandma nancy everyone and um, thank you to everyone with music. There's so many people that could go on. Thank you, Pedro, Calarico. Thank you, Caroline Corn. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just keep going. I just, I just really am. Well, when you, when you, when you get that Oscar, well, you're getting a nice practice when you get that Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, want, I just feel like really grateful. So I just wanted to thank everyone. But I guess I can't do everyone because that's gonna be a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. But yeah, you'll get that. You'll get that into practice once you start winning some awards and all that as well, too. So, you know, good practice yeah. on that. But I, again, I, you know, I'm excited to see what goes on with your career, and um, you know, hope and stay safe uh, right now. And like I said, I wholly, I wholly hope that you use some of this time to, to you know, kind of get some of your creative, uh, you know, juices flowing, as it were. Um, and um, Look forward to some new music, hopefully coming up. Um, you know, you know, within the next year, year or so. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Tommy, for joining us, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Guys. Thanks guys so much. I really appreciate it. We'll have actor and musician Sam Clark right after this. My guest at this time is a very talented actor. If you are a, a fan of Australian uh, television shows, you may recognize him from Neighbors, but he's now over here in the United States uh, doing uh, a very good movie called um, Tell Me I Love You, which is now available on DVD and on demand. He's also a very talented musician. His current, uh, his current single is Out of Reach. You guys can check that out on Spotify as well. Sam Clark is on with us right now. How are you doing, Sam? I'm doing very well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, um, I was able to watch a, a, um, a good portion of the movie. Um, absolutely hilarious and all that as well. I mean, how was it like to, to be on, on set and to be able to be a part of this production? Uh, well, thank you for watching. Glad you enjoyed it. Um, it was uh, it was 40 years ago that we shot the film, so it was a while back. Um, but I do remember uh, it being a very fast-paced, fun, uh, fun shoot. We obviously shot out in Malibu quite a bit, which was beautiful. Um, but yeah, I think after my callback, I think we were shooting a week later, so it was a, a very fast process. How is it? How is it working with the cast back then? And um, you know what? You know, getting the, that first day under you, under your belt when you're out there in Malibu. Uh, thankfully, uh, the director Fiona got myself and uh, Paulina, who plays Ali in the film, uh, together the day prior to shooting starting. So we actually headed down to check the space out in Malibu, um, which is really nice, good to get comfortable with the space prior to shooting and to, and to meet Paulina as well. Um, but 
besides that, it was just, you know, fast and furious, trying to get to know each other really quickly, whilst also trying to pretend to be, uh, you know, lifelong best friends. Yeah, and I mean, to say that, you know, um, part of a good part of this is the music portion of it as well, and probably part, part of the reason why you did get cast, I mean, just to have... Um, so many talented uh, musicians and singers on set as well. I mean, how was it for you to kind of work uh, work uh, your music into your acting? Uh, I mean, I love doing that. That's uh, something that I hope to, you know, continue doing throughout my career. I've uh, I've done that a few times on previous productions, uh, TV show Neighbors that I was on, that a film Mental that I uh, shot a number of years back. Um, so hopefully continuing to write original music for um, the films that I'm in and for films that I'm not part of as well in an acting sense. Um, but uh, it's, you know, it's always an honor to have your music placed in a film and uh, it's great now that the film's out because uh, everyone else in the world gets to hear the song and um, yeah, looking forward to sharing more new music with everyone soon. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, it is kind of frustrating sometimes when you, when you shoot something and you have to wait and wait and wait and finally it comes out. Yeah. You know, so I understand that as well. Um, were you able Were you able to see um, a cut of the movie uh, before it came out? No, I actually saw the movie for the first time. Oh, a week and a half ago, I guess. Um, so no, it was uh, it was a long time coming, and and uh, you know, a lot obviously flooded back to me watching. Uh, watching the cut, um, but yeah, as you said, it's a long time coming. Four years, four years is a long time to wait. So excited that it's out and that we get to share it with the world. Well, I mean, you know, I think I think timing, although although long, is kind of perfect considering what's going on right now. A lot of people are are kind of uh, you know consuming a lot of entertainment as of late, and uh, this obviously obviously having a romantic comedy uh, to be able to uh, to be able to have um, while you're sequestered, as as it were. Is always is always pretty nice as well, um, and I mean, you know, how was it like for you to, to to do comedy? I mean, I'm pretty sure you've done done quite a bit of it in your acting career, but you know, um, you know, kind of tell me a little bit about that. I mean, do you like doing comedy more than you like drama? Um, you know, is there is there you know is it does it come naturally to you? Is there a certain rhythm that comes with it? You know, I mean, I know musicians have certain kind of rhythms when it comes to music, but um, also, could the same kind of beats happen with comedy? Tell me a little bit about that. Totally, comedy is super challenging. I love uh, working in a, in a comedy environment. It's, it's obviously a lot more fun day to day on set than shooting a drama is. But I, I do love getting deep into the nitty gritty of drama as well. Um, uh, you know, it's always fun to flex the comedy muscles. I wouldn't say that I am. Uh, you know, known as a comedic actor, I've definitely done comedy um, in the past, and I I do enjoy doing it. But like you said, there's a certain rhythm to that, and certain people have this innate feel for that timing. Um, and you know, I think that I have a bit of that, but you know, not not that's not my one hundred percent my niche. Yeah, and I mean, did you learn a lot on the set from a lot of your fellow actors and the director? Um. Gosh, going back four years thinking about lessons learned on set. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, this is the first film for me uh, with an American accent. Um, so that was, you know, uh, certainly a learning process for me. Um, I'd obviously worked on the accent prior, but, you know, there was a lot to, to learn and just in terms of stamina and um, improvising and all that sort of stuff in an accent that's not your native one. Um I can't think of any like specific lessons that I learned. Sorry, that's okay. Um, I mean, have you have you uh, kept in uh, contact with some of the cast uh, since you you wrapped filming? I did reach out to Paulina um, just the the other day when we found out that the film was coming out um, to see how she's doing. Obviously, you know, everyone's in quarantine at the moment, so just getting by as best we can. Um, but. Uh, we were really looking forward to doing the release party, sort of like an online premiere for the film, um, with a Q and A. But uh, you know, with the timing of everything that's going on, it just it, you know did not make sense um, to release the film and to do that sort of celebration at that moment in time. But hopefully, um, we'll be able to do something similar to that in the future. And